Mr. Hudson, tell me how your sinker is sinking right now. Uh, you got a spring cranking. Yeah, you got. Yeah, you know, it's so obviously it sinks a little better here than it does in Arizona. Arizona's got the thin air, but um, you know, coming back here, it's uh, it's it's much better. I think um, you, know, you got to stay behind the ball and get some good downward downward movement on. This is your first year in this ballpark. I mean, do you still feel like this is a sort of a hitter's park, or do you still look over there and see that 3 0, 3 0 9 over there a little bit? No, no, I mean, I, I think it's it should, it's considered a, uh, you know, a good pitcher's park. I mean, even though it's short down the right, right field line, a lot of times, you know, at night, this, the wind comes from, you know, from the bay right there, from, from right to left, maybe knocks it down a little bit. It's obviously a big, uh, you know, big right center. And, um, I just feel like it's, it's usually a pretty good, pretty good pitcher's part. You just got to keep the ball down, you know, just, just like anywhere. Uh, it, uh, it's a little better for hitters during the day, but for the most part at night, it's, it's, it's nice for the pitchers. I, I think a lot of times, obviously, you know, you have your workouts, you have to stay in shape. But I think a lot of it is you listen to your body. I think your body lets you know when you need, when you need to take a little bit of rest, when you need to, when you need, need to give something a break. Um, you know, I'm, I'm always a believer in, and um, you know, obviously getting your work in, but, but also um, here comes a time when your body needs to recuperate and it needs to it needs to take a take a step back once in a while. So you do believe that there is a point of throwing too much? Sure, right? absolutely. I think a lot of kids nowadays that play year round at such a young age. Um, you know, I don't know if that's good or bad. Uh, you know, I think I you know I have a son that's ten, and I'm going to encourage him to. To play a lot of other sports, not just baseball, year round. Uh, I think it's just good for um, kids physically, you know, just to develop other muscles in their body, not just uh, the baseball muscles. Most, baseball is, is usually one side dominant, and a lot of there's over a lot of times there's overdevelopment of, of certain muscles in their body. And uh, I, mean, I think at a young age, it's, it's important to, to get everything developed. Yeah. There is an awful lot of Tommy John surgeries going on throughout baseball right now. Is there, is there a particular reason that you feel like that that's, this is happening? You know, it's just tough to say. I know it's, um, you know, it's an unnatural movement for sure, pitching. You know, throwing. Uh, you know, who knows? Maybe it's, uh, it's the year round. Maybe it's all those year round baseball. Those kids are finally, those kids are finally getting to the big leagues and it's starting to catch up to them now. Who knows? Well, we heard Dr. Andrews come out finally and say that he's. Yeah, well, you know, the year round and the travel ball and the, the kids, the stress that they're putting on kids when they're trying to grow and develop a little bit. Well, you know, those, those ligaments, um, you know, they don't grow and get stronger like muscles do. You know, those ligaments, they, they stay the same for the most part. You know, over time, wear and tear is going to catch up to you. One quick before you go, your mechanics. You feel like mechanics are so I've looked at your mechanics, I've looked at everybody's mechanics, and I feel like your mechanics, uh, and a, along with a group of a lot of other guys that are able to maintain some longevity in the game, it seems like you all do a few things the same. In other words, flex knee and you're able to get your head out over your front knee, mm -hmm. and you're not violent coming off of one side across your body, and things of this nature, that at the base point, you know, you're you're in a certain position. Do you, do you feel like that's a big part of it? Yeah, yeah. I think sound mechanics obviously is key to, to being healthy. Um, you know, I think uh, you know I've always tried to just keep my mechanics pretty simple. Um, you know, try try to keep things quiet. Try to have uh, the least amount of moving parts as, as possible. I think uh, you know, the more moving parts you have in your delivery, um, the harder it is to, to keep things consistent. So just try to make it simple, um, but at the same time have quality pitches down in the zone. Uh, Stay healthy. Thank you for your time. Welcome to the San Francisco yeah, Giants. Good to be here. <laughs>